r slash ask reddit what was your it can't be that easy slash it was that easy moment in your life found a 60 tv by the dumpster plugged it in didn't turn on looked up common problems with the model number bought a part on ebay for 20 dollars replaced part had a huge tv edit wow that is many upvotes I didn't even know Reddit gave trophies for best comment slash day and I'm kinda confused why I got it for fixing a TV. Anyways, so fun to hear about everyone's similar experiences. Let's all keep fixing shit that turns out to be $20 or less with minimal effort from not being shit. In college the professor advertised an internship and wrote the info on the board. Out of a class of 150 students. I was the only one to apply and I fulfilled my internship requirement for graduation. Honestly, after being incredibly broke, I remember how easy everything suddenly seemed when I had money. Car broken? Get it fixed. Sick. Go to the doctor. Need a babysitter? Hire one. Money makes everything so much easier and less disruptive to life. I knew I'd made it when I put my bills on auto pay. One of the kids I babysit was going through a phase of I want to be a baby again. Jealous of her sister. Weeks of gentle parenting and such. You know what worked? I was eating ice cream and she wanted some. I said babies don't get ice cream. That was it. She was done. One time I tightened my gas cap and the check engine light went off. Changing my bathroom faucet. I'm a 56 year old woman that's never done any plumbing before. Turns out YouTube is a wealth of knowledge. It really wasn't that hard. I get joy every time I wash my hands knowing I did that. Edit, thanks for all the awards, kind strangers. Got a salary request when applying for a job accidentally wrote double what I meant to write since the number keys were right next to each other. They accepted anyway. Edit, well that exploded. Worked on an almost $5 million lighting rig for a concert as a junior guy on the job. We get it all plugged in and patched but none of it would turn on. All the guys were freaking out trying to figure out why. The team collectively had about 150 years of experience. No one checked ROC if the generators were turned on. I was like no way this is why but I'll just go check if the generators are good. Flip stuff on and Viola. Making my username. In a bar on a work night just for a couple of drinks with a mate. Briefly talked to a girl at the bar when I was ordering a drink. I left an hour later and said goodbye to her as I was walking out. She asked if she could come with me I was like oh I'm just going home and she said yes I know. Completely hit me out of the blue, I was like oh right. Ah. Yeah sure, you can absolutely come with me. I was sus and confused about it. But all went well. Turns out she had been stood up for a date and sat there for an hour or so by herself. And I was just in the right place and the right time edit due to the questions in the comments. We had a good time and good banter that night and the next morning. But no we never saw each other again. She was mortified by the age difference. She was 28 years old and I was 21 year old first year graduate at a finance firm. I knew you were young, but what kind of fuck and 21 year old wears a suit to a bar on a Thursday night was about the line. I think she clicked that things were off when she saw the supermarket shopping trolley in the living room, flatmates doing who was still at uni. It was all in good faith though, good times were had. I had a loose hinge on my door. It kind of drove me crazy for three years, but I had no idea how to fix the wood that had been stripped. Then I found a product on Amazon for $10 where you shove on a sleeve, break it off and then screw in the new screws. Bought two new hinges that don't squeak. Took about 10 minutes and cost $20 and it's no longer a problem. Edit, product is called screw it again. 
about $10 for 10 of them on Amazon. Edit, thank you for all the tips about using matches, golf tees, shims, etc. Got a job that required full-time field work for minimal pay. In AZ. On my first day they asked about other skills. I saw other people using AutoCAD so I said I used it in college but I was really rusty. This was a lie. I had only ever used it once to draw some circles. They were excited and got me a 4 day refresher class. I learned AutoCAD and haven't been in the field in over a year. I later asked for more pay since I wasn't a field tech anymore. They said no. I got another job using AutoCAD for double salary. Pro tip, learn Auto CADC 3D. It's not that hard, and boomers will think you're a tech god. I was recently looking for an apartment and rent in my city, like most cities currently, is outrageous. So after three days of looking I found this two bedroom apartment with a price that normally would get you a roach infested one bedroom slash studio shithole in a bad part of town. But these apartments look nice, they're in a good part of town, the reviews online are all positive, I can't figure out the catch then I see there is a year long wait list for this place, but I decide to go to the leasing office and after talking to the property manager, I get bumped to the top of the list for an apartment that becomes available next month. I keep waiting for the bottom to drop out. Most people spend months looking for places in my city and they'd be paying a third more than I'm paying at a minimum for a similar place. I looked for 3 days and found this place but I think I just got lucky and it was just that easy. I started looking for a job last year and got 3 offers within 2 months, 2 of which were significantly higher pay. Made me realize I've been sitting around way too long. Actually doing the chore you put off for a few days. Fixing clogged drains. Started out because my sink drain plug wouldn't stay up. Poked around under the sink and found the pop-up rod had rusted completely through and broken. Cost me $5 for a new one at the plumbing supply store next to where I worked at the time. Took 5 minutes to figure out how to swap, and now I know how sink and shower drains come apart, which makes unclogging them simple. Maybe it's just me, but in my brain it seemed like that was something I'd have to call a plumber to come unclog, but it's all remarkably simple. Drinking water. Went from having issues getting to sleep and then waking up grumpy and tired. Water has changed my life. Thought it would be super difficult to kick soda, but once I tried and didn't give in the benefits outweighed the taste. Tying shoelaces. When I was a kid, no one ever managed to teach me how to tie my shoes. I remember never being able to get that last step that ties it all together and in general I suck with knots. I would have been garbage in the Boy Scouts. I got into my early 20s relying mostly on Velcro shoes. But one day I sat down with a pair of new shoes determined to figure it out. I put one on and tied it correctly on the first try. I just sat there dumbfounded for a few minutes wondering how it had been that easy all along. Solving a decade of disability with an over-the-counter iron supplement. Edit, I seem to have convinced a number of people they're iron deficient and that they should start taking iron pills. While iron is unlikely to be harmful in over-the-counter doses over the short term, in the long term it can literally kill you. If at all possible, get medical supervision for doing this. I'm doing it on my own because I can't convince my doctor I'm deficient when I definitely am but this carries risks with it. Get into a bar fight. Some guy didn't like the way I looked. Never had said a word to the guy all night, he was about 15 feet away from me most of the night. When I started my ad medication, I never knew how life could be and how easy it was to just get up and do stuff. Changed my life for the better and I've managed to turn so many things around, can't believe it took me 18 years to get diagnosed. Edit, I am super happy to answer any questions but there's so many here so if anyone would like to message I'm happy to have a chat and thanks for all the love. I hope you all get to find your medication that can make life seem like it's on easy mode, 
smiley face, shoot me a message anytime, smiley face. In an attempt to sleep with a girl, I told her she was on my to-do list. We had sex that night. Suing someone in small claims. It was surprisingly easy because my case was rock solid and I had a professionally printed document of evidence, witness statements, and precise records sent over to the court while the defendant did literally nothing but send unlabeled loose printouts of my Facebook page as her so-called evidence. It was a very quick judgment for plaintiff. I never slept well, ever. There's an over-the-counter magnesium supplement called Calm. I drink a cup every night and sleep like a hibernating bear. It was that easy. My divorce. No lawyers, no fighting. I gave her the house, she makes more than me so no alimony slash child support, just filled out the paperwork, paid the nominal court fees, and it's all good. I see my kids every few days and we have both moved on and get along. I was at a locally well-known, upscale restaurant one time. I had ordered sweet potato fries, and it came with the most amazing dipping sauce I had ever had. Tangy, spicy, the whole package. So I figured I didn't have anything to lose, and asked the waitress if I could have the recipe. She said she'd ask the chef, but of course I figured they'd say no. A short time later, she came out and handed me a photocopy of the recipe. And that was that. I've made the sauce a few times since, and it's still just as amazing. Edit, y'all are asking for the recipe and I can respect that, smiley face. I posted a slightly altered recipe since. Well it's not my place to post restaurant recipes on the internet. But apparently enough of you felt that wasn't enough and demanded I post the original and somehow acting like you are entitled to it. They didn't give me permission to post it on the internet, and I'm not gonna call and ask. Not worth the hassle, so I took it down. This is why we can't have nice things. There are many amazing dipping sauces if you google it, I'll be enjoying mine in peace, smiley face, edit, someone posted my altered sauce recipe below, feel free to take a look. It's a great recipe. Just don't ask me to post the original. I'm not as generous as the chef was, especially when people are rude about it, smiley face. I made a 13th century pirate style shirt by hand no machine with a YouTube video I like sewing but I'm not the best at it so it made me feel good about doing things that seem hard. Applying for my Irish passport. My dad was born there, so I'm a naturalized citizen. I hate paperwork, so avoided ever filling out my application. Turns out it takes 10 minutes online. Deciding to stop dealing with my life going in no direction after leaving a career that I went to college for a decade prior. I had something in the back of my mind for a long time that I wanted to do. I finally couldn't take the feeling of being stuck so I applied to a local community college to take some prerequisites and started class less than two weeks later. I am pretty sure I cried once I did it because the relief of finally having some direction again and felt like a weight lifted off of me. I could literally feel the change in my body once I registered. I was drunk at a party and saw a cute girl. Stumbled over to her and literally said, you're cute, can I have your number? Nearly a decade later, she's next to me with our child asleep on her lap. Sometimes getting the date is just that easy. To shame her even further, she was sober. I was blitzed enough to silence all my normal second guessing and internal thoughts that get in my own way, but she had a drunken nerd just straight up ask her out, no small talk or anything, and decided that it was a good idea. I was trying to activate Windows XP and 7 on an old computer a few years ago for giggles and software compatibility. I couldn't get them to accept my key because the servers were shut down. I tried calling the phone number they had listed and it gave me a code for my Windows when I entered my key. It was super easy. Best of all, I didn't have to talk to a person, a robot took care of it all. Making an account asking for nudes. Turns out it's that easy. 
standing up for myself, and no longer being afraid to upset others by simply existing lol. Going back to school. I've been toying with the idea for years telling myself it was too far, too expensive, too time consuming etc and that because I had a home, job, and child to maintain I couldn't do it. Something in me finally cracked recently and I thought fuck it and made a call to a tech school nearby. Three days later I'm on a tour. The tour is maybe an hour or two total. Papers were all done online and I start Monday. They also threw a ton of financial aid at me. I'm only gonna pay about $50 a month until I've graduated and those payments go up to about $95. Still very manageable. My classes are only 4 hours long, they're at night, and I only have to be in class 2 days a week. The rest of my studies are done at home with a tablet they provide me so I don't even have to buy a computer or anything. Couldn't believe how easy and affordable it actually was. They estimate I finish my program in about 8 to 10 months. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.